Hey y'all, my name is Phoenix and today we have another unboxing from Puzzle Crate. This is the September 2023 box. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Okay, looks like there's two puzzles in here. So we have, oh, I might already have this guy. Um, and then I definitely have a different version of this guy, but this looks nice. All right, and then cards. So here's what we've got. We have the face turning octahedron Commonly referred to as the FTO, this is a classic puzzle that belongs in everyone's collection. Credit for the first working prototype of this puzzle goes to David Pitcher around 2003. Since then, Lan Lan has mass produced this puzzle, which made it much more, much more accessible and affordable. The FTO's popularity has really exploded in the past few years. Many pu puzzlers have even lubricated and turned their puzzles to, and tuned their puzzles to attempt speed solving the FTO. The current fastest record to solve is a mind-bending 14.64 seconds. We highly recommend watching Ben Puzzles on YouTube for all your F2O tutor FTO tutorial needs. Enjoy. And then the other one we have is the 2x2x3 cuboid. There are many shape variations of the 2x2x3 cuboid, but this is what the puzzle looks like without any shape modifications. Also known as the Slim Tower, samples of this puzzle started popping up in the early 2000s. However, it wasn't mass produced until around 2009. Since then, many companies have made their own version. This particular version is from Chidi and the quality is excellent. The 2x2x3 is a great puzzle to learn cuboid algorithms and to familiarize yourself on how cuboids function. For example, the top and bottom can only be turned by 180 degrees. Enjoy. Well, I would not say that's exactly the top and bottom, so it doesn't seem like we got anything new out of this order. I'm just gonna go ahead and open both up. So I'll them both. This 2x2x3 looks smaller than the one that I have. Um, but I already have both of these puzzles right here. So here is a face turning octahedron. I already have this one. I got this a little while ago. Um, and then as for the two by two by three, I already have this one as well, but not in stickerless. And this one looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and scramble them both. But actually, no, let me show the turning first. So I know how to solve both of these puzzles already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scramble them both up and solve them all real quick. Um, this should not be very difficult, although I'm definitely not gonna be able to solve this in 15 seconds, like the world record. So I am just gonna scramble this up at least somewhat sufficiently, and then I think that's good. Now as for this guy, this guy's gonna be much uh, simpler because this is a very easy puzzle. I love the way that it looks in stickerless. I have this in black. In fact, I got this um, several years ago. Um, heck, it was like, I'm not kidding. I got this literally like five years ago for like my 13th birthday. And I guess I'm only now getting another one. Um, and it looks really nice, but let's go ahead and start solving this. So what you wanna do first is you want to solve these, uh, I guess, centers or corners first. Um, some, you could call them centers, you can call them corners. So we got the purple side done. These two need to be rotated. Um, so that means we probably should, um, probably should solve these a bit differently. Just try doing that. Maybe, I got an idea. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try doing the, the the six sledgehammers like I can do on the skew. I'm gonna treat these like skew centers. Actually, because there's no corners, I actually only need to do that twice. So uh, it's the same deal with the, uh, the skew diamond that I got a couple months ago. Um, so yeah, now all of the corners are complete and my framing is a little off, it's all right. Now what we want to do is solve the edges. And that is a very simple step. It just takes a bunch of soons. Um, so let's go ahead and do one more. That'll open this gap here. Do a soon on this side. Oop, off the camera. And hold on. You guys can see my tripod. Uh, okay, I slightly fixed it. Um, and now we can just do an anti soon, kind of. And then that puts that one in. I'm gonna start from the red side. We're gonna do the blue side last. Where's the last red edge? It's right here. And then one more soon to place both of them in at the same time. And now I need to do the same with the gray side. So. 
Uh, so this guy needs to come here. So we actually have to put him here first. Um, so... edges are in place. Now we're going to want to solve all of these centers and it's pretty simple to do so. It only requires three cycle elements. So we bring this up like this, do a sledge, down like this, and then inverse sledge or hedge. So it's pretty simple and then obviously we need to undo our setup moves. Um, there's no really correct order to do this, as long as we are making sure to not mess anything up. And now our orange side is sold, we can turn this back. Uh, let's just go ahead and do purple uh, real quick. Only one more of these to do, and then my arm is really itchy, I don't like that. But now the whole FTO is solved. So so yeah, that's the FTO solved. It's kind of a shame that I got this one when I already had it, but it is a very nice puzzle to have. And if you don't have already have one, then I do suggest getting this. It is very fun and it's a very classic that belongs in anyone's collection. Um, but now let's just go ahead and quickly solve this since it's an extremely simple solve. So we're gonna want to start by getting the white side done and we can easily do that just like that. And the yellow side is conveniently already solved for us. So now uh, we just need to do, um, yep, and, oh wait, nope, we're not done. We just need to solve the middle layer and then we're done. So that's obviously a very simple solve right there. It's extremely easy to do the two by two by three. And ultimately, I'm pretty happy with what I got in this one. These are both puzzles that I already had, but it was nice to definitely get a stickerless version of this since I did not have uh, this one in stickerless. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this extra one. Um, I might give it to uh, my brother or something. But anyway, that is about it for this video. If you enjoyed watching this, even though I didn't do a very good job filming it because what this guy in the frame camera fell over, it wasn't my best <laughs> filming project. But overall, if you enjoyed this, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more from me in the future, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new uploads. This will be the second video that I have uploaded this weekend since I missed last weekend. Um, and then I should hopefully be able to get back to a regular schedule from that point on. Um, but anyway, that'll be it for this video. I will see you next time. Farewell.